Hello everyone out there tuning in, and welcome to the first very special episode of Goblins Droblin, the cartoon show about the precarious life of comic book characters. I'm your host, the titular Goblins. I may be a man with a strange pen name, or I might be a multitude of hungry little green monsters. Who can say? Every episode on this channel will be dedicated to some idea, some character, some something that I will draw for you live, whether you want me to or not. And for this first episode, I thought I would start with a familiar base. Now these two fellas are Hero and Bart. Those of you who have followed my artistic exploits in the past might recognize them as the main characters of This Is The Life, my webcomic. However, for those of you who have not seen what I do before and are questioning whether or not you should stick around and see, there are a couple of pretty basic fellas. You know, I mean, Bart's had the distinction of being the shortest kid in his class since second grade, and Hero has an affinity for attracting really bad pets, but otherwise... No genetic experimentation, no super anything, no magic. They're just a couple of average guys in a not always so average world. But I thought for this episode, what if something came along like a super storm that decided to make them more than average? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh... Uh, abnormally more than average would normally be. Yes, that's right. Now this storm, what if it gave them their power seemingly randomly, as if there was some website, some place out on the great tubes of the internet, where someone had culminated all the intelligence about superpowers throughout all sorts of mediums. Knock knock, who's there? Superpower Wiki. Now, let's hit this here random page and see what sort of abilities old hero's gonna get. Illusionary environment. Good. Good. I'm glad. The power to change the appearance of one's environment via illusions. Just the environment, though. Good. Good. Now. Normally, normally, logic would dictate that you would only give one such powerful force to a single man. But logic has no place here. So how about we grab another one? Uh, where is that button? There it is. Random page. Solar infusion. The power to infuse solar energy slash substances into objects, beings, or powers. So, sun feeding? Who is this? I don't care. All right. Okay. That is a random assortment of abilities, but that's exactly what we were looking for. So I'm thinking. Now, sight is based on light. So if Hero had some ability to infuse things with solar power light what if what if follow me on this he carried around some kind of something and would shoot mirages around so he could Run through a door away from a monster and then shoot so it looks like the door is closed and the monster couldn't tell. That's not a very heroic example. But I think you get what I'm going at. What kind of, what kind of costume would such a guy wear? I don't 
don't know. I'm going to start on his arms first. So. Not like a real gun, because <laughs> that would be useful. Maybe like a... Uh, Oh, there's so many different kinds of weird guns. It's just a stick. It's just... Have you ever... Did you ever go out to the woods as a kid and just pick up a vaguely curved stick and pretend it was a gun? Here, I was doing this right here. But his enemies, from their point of view, this is an eyeball. That looks like a real gun. And, boy howdy, that makes them think twice about doing anything to him. Yeah, this power is really not for superheroes at all, is it? It's becoming more and more just something to help Hero get out of stupid situations he gets into. Probably by trying to be a hero. Let's get this more stick-like. Ah, yes. Lots of details in a stick you don't think about. It's just an amorphous human-like blob at this point. I suppose he should have a face. There. Perfect. Oh, oh yes. This is what you get for expecting something to work out better. Terror. Uh, maybe, maybe he went to find some tights, but only, uh, the only ones he could find were real ill-fitting. Yeah, that's way deeper than it needs to be. There we go. So, I suppose, just like, oh, that's bad. Okay. Uh, gloves? Mittens. Their hands are already kind of mitten-like, but if I do this, uh, there we go. That actually worked. Wow, something worked! Who'd have thunk it? da 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 da, -da. Ah, uh, these leg parts. Oh, do I want to go full Leo on this? <sighs> yes. Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah, this just stopped being a child-friendly program. That didn't last long, did it? But, uh... But he's real uncomfortable... So he, like, put on some cargo shorts underneath or something. There we go. You know, you need to just go back to your slice-of-life comedy antics. This superhero thing is not working out for you. You got gypped. Watch Bart get, like manipulation of dark matter or something stupid powerful like that. There we go. Okay, so they were cargo shorts. So here's a pocket. There we go. Uh, boots. Real, the real short ones. There. <laughs> Oh boy. Did you think you were going to get something good here? No. You made a mistake. Okay, um... But, but of course, he infuses his stick with solar energy, and not only does it make it look like a gun, he can... a uh, shoot. Let me get a... let me get a little superhero. <laughs> Over here. Uh-huh. Alright. And he can. There we go. 
Not so bad for such a little guy. He shoots, or seems to shoot, and pew, suddenly, mirage. There it is. Oh, water. Water in the desert. Oh, also, he can make it look like a desert. So then the oasis is more welcoming. Something like that. I did not plan out anything past the main introduction. I am getting these powers live and trying to make them make sense. You'll have to forgive me if they just really don't work. Palm trees in the desert. There we go. They're actually cactuses. If you try to eat one of their coconuts, you'll just be eating parts of a cactus. And that's no fun for anyone. That's a butt. I'm not changing it. I'm not changing that butt. There's a crane fly in my room and I want it to die. Eh. Sorry about that. I don't mean to let the real world interfere with my this all right i'd say uh, that about oh a logo let's uh zoom in a little bit zoom in a little bit get those real nice jiggy lines you can see this is something he just drew on with like a sharpie uh i think he would really focus on the sun part of things so kind of trying to get Cool, cool sun logo going. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a sun. Neat sunglasses. There we go. Kind of the kind of a vague facsimile of sunglasses. There. Why is it moved over like that? Here we go. All right. I think that's hero all taken care of. Now let's see what bot gets. Random page. Water bomb generation. That's already way better than everything Hero got. Alright. Uh, I don't think I have to read the description for that. That's pretty, uh, it's pretty self-evident, isn't it? Oxygen <laughs> manipulation. I. But... The power to manipulate oxygen. Listen. Listen real good. What? Okay. I can make this work, right? Who's their example? Crystal. Can cause oxygen to spontaneously ignite, causing an oxidizing... Uh, that's pretty neat. Okay. Okay. So, alright. That actually works out well for old Bart. Poor hero, man. Alright. <laughs> let us get started. So, let's get... Oh, no, bro. There we go. Okay. Pompadour, no way he's keeping that under some kind of cowl. In fact, maybe maybe he uses his oxygen power to make it more impressive somehow. But he does have kind of one of these kid flash cowls with the open head can't quite hide those eyebrows though sorry buddy it's okay though because you got cool powers he's smug about it let me tell you a body that's important for crime fighting 
Mm, how do heroes stand? They have real wide stances. Right, right. Okay. This hand is doing something with oxygen. Oxygen. I guess he's setting it on fire. Yeah. Yeah, setting it on fire. Let's go with that. And this one's like... Hey, water bombs. You know what? Water bombs. They're little, though. They're little water bombs. How does one translate water? Like, uh, bubbles? It looks like a penguin now. That doesn't work. I guess I should make it more goopy in its basic structure. Water bomb. There we go. And if I just put kind of... Uh, yeah. I want it to have spikes, though. There's some spikes. Spike, spike, spike. And of course, if you touch one, they explode into water. Ooh, ooh, hang on, guys. Hang on. I just thought of something cool. What if they explode into water, but he has a packet of oxygen in there, separate from the actual water molecules, that actually explodes, like, properly? Uh, maybe he can do concussive waves and fiery waves if he can. He probably has to be close enough to still manipulate the oxygen in order to do the fire ones. But I mean, even if he doesn't, they can pop open to just really knock a guy for a loop. Just a moment. I'm back with water. It was such a journey. Ugh. Okay, let's get some detail on this costume. Oh, you know what? How about a collar? Oh. Those ladies are going to be all over old Bart. Look at that collar. And a cape. Good. Smart heroes wear capes to make them look smart. What's going on with his arms? Uh, maybe like he got a sleeve coming out of the main costume and a glove. Just uh, just got that little strip of skin there. Ooh, oots. Boots, hella boots, little useless notch there. There we go. He needs a logo too. Ah, that's a little bit closer than I meant to get, but that's okay. Like a, like a water drop. And oxygen? Ah. Water drop, uh, and it explodes. Oh, it's got kind of, this is kind of the background as opposed to just like a circle shield. Yeah. And because he actually looks like a hero, he will get a superhero name, which will be Pop, Per, Pop and Collar, Pop. Burst. Burst and Bart. Say hello to Burst and Bart, everybody. Clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. I won't clap my hands because that probably won't sound very good over the microphone and stuff. Alright. I think that just about does it for this episode. We got Burst and Bart, who can manipulate oxygen and cause explosive water bombs. And Hero! He needs a name. Uh, the Mirager. The Mirager. Am I even saying that right? Mirage? It sounds weird when it comes out of your mouth. 
Which makes it even better, considering how he ended up. The Mirager. Hero superhero identity. Who can infuse things with light and cause illusions in the scenery. Poor hero, man. And with that... Oh no! Something's gone wrong. Okay. And with that, I believe that's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. If you like my art or you like my wit, the best, the best thing that I would like you to do is read my webcomic. And once you're done catching up on that, you can like me on Facebook. You can check out my Patreon. You can like this video and subscribe to the channel to keep getting more garbage like this. And uh, once you're done with all of that, maybe share it with your friends. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Alright, uh, this has been Goblins Droplin, and I'm Goblins, signing off.